Okay, so how to debug, and specifically how to do this on Mac. I've shown some of this on Windows. Let's show it on Mac. On Windows, your preferences are under the Edit menu, but for reasons that I don't know, they are under the Unity menu on Mac. So we go for Settings, we're going to go Unity Settings. And on the External Tools, External Tools here, this is where we choose the script editor we want to use. I have it set for Visual Studio. As I've probably mentioned a few times, Visual Studio is my choice, and uh, frankly, I think it's a lot easier. And we'll see why that is here as I go through this. But if you have installed Visual Studio, you can choose. There's a drop down here. You can choose Visual Studio. If you change this, hit this Regenerate Project Files button, and now you should be ready to go using Visual Studio to come to debug. Um, let's also double check. Let's go to the Package Manager and check that you have Visual Studio Editor installed. This is indicating there's an update for it, so maybe I want to do an update, but uh, it's installed, so it should work. So let's now open a script. I'm going to choose load scene here. I just double click it and that will, since I have associated it uh, using the, the settings menu with Visual Studio, it opens in Visual Studio and there's my script. Now how do I debug? Let's attach the debugger. Let's just set a breakpoint. Uh, I'm going to put a breakpoint here on the on button press function. Uh, a note on breakpoints. I do not like to put breakpoints on the function call itself or on any lines that don't have code. So not on line 10, not on line 11. This line 12 is the first actual code inside the function, so that's where the breakpoint goes. Okay, and now it should say on here on the debug options, it should say attach to Unity. And it does. So to actually attach it, we're going to hit this little play button. Now that we are attached, we can play it in Unity. And to call that function, I need to click this. So I'm going to click it, and that should call my function. Bang. And now since I've got a breakpoint, it has stopped here. I can use my watch window to browse variables. I see my call stack, if there is anything useful here. Uh, a lot of times it is like it shows right now, um, which is it's all from Unity stuff. Uh, it was just called directly from Unity. But if there is any script calling script, that will show up right here. All your script variables are, vari are available here. I don't have a whole lot. I have M scene to load. I can show that one at least. So what, that's the value of that variable. And now let's just you know continue. Boop. You can step whatever. I just hit continue. Um, back to Unity. Hey, everything's looking good. Uh, let's see. Press me again. Now scene to load is scene one because we're going back. So let's, yeah, that's good. We'll, we'll do a step. Step over. Cool. Um, yeah, whatever. That's, that's all for that function. So that's debugging, right? You can use that. Huh. Maybe I'll make a separate video on how to effectively debug. But for now, I just wanted to show you how to set it up. OK, that's that. Um, we can detach. Just hit the Stop button. We're detached. And let's kill Visual Studio. We're done with that. So many of you are using VS Code, Visual Studio Code, instead of Visual Studio. That's a a personal preference is fine. That should work too. So let's show you how to set that up. Um, first off, let's go to our package manager. According to some of the instructions online, the Visual Studio Code debugging depends on Visual Studio Editor. So, but it, it doesn't list it here uh, as a dependency, but I read that somewhere, so you know maybe have them both. So here we go: Visual Studio Code Editor. 
this plugin needs to be installed. You can see that it is installed and up to date. So make sure you have definitely have Visual Studio Code Editor and I have them both. I'm not sure if this is literally required or not. All right, now we'll go to our settings. And on the Mac, again, that's under Unity settings and external tools. And we will select, instead of Visual Studio for Mac, if you want to use Visual Studio Code, let's select Visual Studio Code here. And um, something that was a big gotcha for me is when I first did that, I did not have any checkboxes checked by default. So you want embedded packages and local packages definitely checked. And then you can hit Regenerate Project Files. Every time you switch uh, like from one editor to another, each one has its own concept of what a project file is. So we're going to regenerate the project files. We should now be ready to go with Visual Studio Code. If you double click one of your C Sharp files, it should open in Visual Studio Code. And it does. Uh, the first time you open it, though, at least for me, depending on what you already have installed, I did not have the C Sharp extension installed, so it prompted me to install that. And we can do that through this button. This is the extensions. And we can say C Sharp. And you can see I have now installed C Sharp um, in, uh, extension for VS Code. And it, it prompted me to do that, so I didn't have to go and find it. But if, if you already have it, you're good. If not, it should prompt you. And if not, then <laughs> I guess go search for it. Next up, we want to do Unity debugging, which is a specific extension. So we're going to go here to an extension and look for Unity. And there is the Unity extension. That's the one we want. And we will install and make sure that's enabled and up to date. Once those extensions are installed, let's just to be sure, you know, um, let me show it again. We're going to go Unity settings, external tools, VS Code, regenerate those project files. And we should now be able to debug. All right, I already have a breakpoint on here. How do you put a breakpoint? You can, you can click right here to put breakpoints, um, or you know, learn the hotkeys. Let's attach the debugger. If I click this. I'm looking for this option here, attached to Unity. It should be an option, and it should be the option you have selected. If you do not have that option, then we need to troubleshoot what's wrong with your install. Uh, I had to do some troubleshooting myself, so hopefully it works easily for you. If you've installed the Unity extension, if you've regenerated those project files, that option should be there. And now we can just hit this little green triangle play button to attach to the Unity. Unity's working in the background. You can see it's still open. OK, we're up and running. So I'll go over to my Unity and play in Editor. And now I put that breakpoint here. Bang, and there we go. So now it'll stop on my breakpoint. I can inspect variables. Um, I can set up my watch window with variables I want. Here's my local variables. Here is my call stack that shows which functions are calling which functions. Um, and yeah, I can step over a line. I can step into a line. I can hit continue and the game will, game will continue once I do so. So there you go, debugging. Um, hopefully that is helpful for the Mac people and especially for the VS Code people. All right, um, see you next time.